Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to teach you how easy it is to add content directly into your value add on membership website. I'm logged into the site owner control panel and I'm on the manage content tab. Now, the reason we put this tab up front is because this is one of the first steps you want to complete when you're working on your value add on membership site. And it's so easy to do. I'm going to walk you through it right now. So inside of this tab, we have a lot of options. We can create a brand new course, which I'm going to do here pretty soon. We can create post content. We can manage our courses that we've already added, or we can create a welcome tab. So let's start with the welcome tab. Now this is totally optional and you don't have to do it, but it allows you to turn on a welcome tab. So right when your members log into their membership site for the first time, you can greet them with a welcome message or a welcome video. And to do this, it's very simple. First things first is you have to enable the welcome screen. So go ahead and change the status to on and then save the page. This turns on the welcome tab. Now we must edit it. So let's go back and click on the edit tab button. When we do this, we have a few options. We can choose what type of content tab we're creating. Is it a text, audio, or video? If you want to just do a text greeting, choose text. If you want to greet them with a video message, then choose video. For this example, and keep it short, I'm going to choose text. Next thing is to input a welcome title. So I've already done this to save time. I put in welcome to my site right here, and then go ahead and type in your description. Now you can make this description as long or short as you want. You can add HTML by selecting this box. You can, you know, format it as you want. You can even add your own images, embed videos and do much, much more. You can also even upload your own attachments. So for example, let's say you have some downloads that you want that user to download right away, right when they log in. You can go ahead and you can upload those attachments, any type of files you want. You can upload those right here and they'll show up on the welcome screen. So let's wait for those files to upload and then let's hit save changes. Now, one of the things that I want to do, and I should have done this before, is I want to go ahead and I want to open up a preview of the site in a new tab. To do that, I'm going to move my mouse up to where it says preview this site and I'm going to right click with my mouse and I'm going to click on open a new tab. What this will give me the ability to do is it will give me the ability to bounce back and forth between the preview of my, mem of my members area and going back into the managing section. So let's take a look at that preview one more time. I have my membership site pulled up. I'm in the members area, this is what a member would see. And here's that welcome tab that I just activated. So a minute ago, this wasn't here. I turned it on and here's this welcome tab. It says, welcome to my site. Here's the long description. And then here are those additional downloads. Now, if you chose a video as your type, your video would be displayed here, so on and so on. So next, let's go back and let's create a course. I'm gonna go back to the manage area and I'm gonna go back to the manage content section. And let's choose this first option and let's create a course. Now, a course is a sequenced set of content, okay? It's, it's content that was meant to be viewed in order from A to Z or one to 10. It's content that you wanna place um, in a certain order and you want the user to go through that in a certain order. Courses are made up of sections and lessons and we'll get into that in a minute. But the first thing we need to do is we need to create the course and we need to fill out a few options. So. Let's go ahead and run through the list. The title of the course. I'm gonna call this one Magic Tricks 101. Now we need to give the course a description. We need to tell our visitors what this course is about. Next, we have the option to time release this course. Now, if I turn this feature on by clicking on it, I can select in a number of days. So any number of days, it's up to you, but let's say you didn't want your customers or your membership users to gain access to this course until they waited a certain amount of days after they registered. For example, if I put five in here, that user would have to wait five days before this course is available to them. But for this example, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave this setting off. I want this course to be available right away. The next option is we can upload a custom thumbnail. Now, if you do not upload a thumbnail, You'll get, uh, you'll basically use the default thumbnail we have here, but let's go ahead. I have a custom thumbnail that I want to use for this. I'm going to click open. And then we have the option of enabling downloads. Do you want your members to be able to download the content that you teach directly to their computer? You can choose these settings here. Once you filled that form out, go ahead and press create course. 
Okay, so we've created our first course, but we haven't added any content into it yet. So that's what we have to do next. So you have to remember, courses are made of basically two things, sections and lessons. And you can see those here. And just to make this not confusing, think of a book. A book is made up of chapters and pages, right? And it also has a table of contents. Well, a course is very similar, but instead of chapters, it has sections. And instead of pages, it has lessons. So that's how you can think of your course is like a book. And the table of contents is the contents of your course. So we're going to go through all of this in a little bit, but I just want to show you how easy it is to go ahead and add individual pieces of content into this course. Now, I like to always start off with a section. Remember, a section is like a chapter in a book. It's a descriptive part um, of the lessons. So let's go ahead and add a section first. We're going to call this newbie tricks. And I'm going to hit create section. Okay, so I've added my first section here. Now it's time to add an actual lesson. So click on add a lesson. This will bring up the lesson editor and we're just gonna go through the same process that we just did. So what is the lesson type? Are you gonna be adding a text or HTML lesson, a video lesson, or an audio lesson? Make your selection here. For this example, I'm gonna do a video lesson and I'm gonna call this card tricks. Now we have to give a lesson summary. And I just remembered this actually, this video is going to be actually about a dollar bill trick. So let me change that title. Okay. So the next option is once again, do we want to publish this lesson in the future or do we want to time release it? If you time release it, once again, the user is going to have to wait a set amount of days before they can gain access to this lesson. Or we can do publish in the future, which allows us to choose a date in the future when this lesson will be made available. For this example, we're gonna leave these blank. The next option is to add tags. Now, these are optional, but these are descriptive tags that explain this lesson. It helps your users be able to search and see what this lesson is about. So we can put in things like magic tricks, dollar bill, and vanishing, there we go. Okay, now for the most important part is we need to upload our content. Since we did choose video as our lesson type, we need to upload our instructional video here. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my video and I'm also going to upload some extra attachments. Think of these as homework assignments. Okay, you don't have to upload anything else, but I'm going to upload a few more files just to show you what happens. So right now all these files are being uploaded to the server. Nice thing about value add on is we take care of your hosting. We store all of your media content securely on Amazon S3. We also pay your bandwidth bill. We also embed your content into our players. We do a lot of other stuff with it and it's all done automatically. There's no messy embedding, saves you a lot of time. And once again, we pay your hosting bill as far as bandwidth storage and media encoding. So now all these files are done uploaded. Let's go down to the next step. And now it's time to choose our primary content file. So since we chose a video lesson type, we have to choose a video as our primary content file that will show up as the main part of this lesson. Now, what that means is, is that all these other files here that I've uploaded, these are gonna be attachments. So anything other than your primary content file will show up as an additional attachment to this lesson. And the very last step is to tell the system whether you want to enable downloads for this content. You can disable people downloading the content to their hard drive or you can enable it, it's totally up to you. For this example, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna allow people to download my content. So just press publish and our first lesson will be made available. Now I'm gonna do this a few more times and I'm gonna run through it really fast. I'm gonna actually pause the video because I don't wanna waste time. And I'm gonna add a few more lessons just so when I show what this looks like, it looks a little bit more filled in. So give me a few seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I added a few more lessons. So let me show you what we have so far in this course. We have a section right here called newbie tricks. Then we have another lesson below it called dollar bill. We have a lesson below that called card tricks. And we have a third lesson below that called coin through table. Now the nice thing is, is you can rearrange these lessons in any way you want. If you click and drag on the left hand side, you can change the order of your lessons. You can also do the same with sections. So you can move your sections around in any order that you want. 
It's totally up to you where you want to place these. And whenever you rearrange these, the numbering and the arrangement gets updated automatically on your site. So with that said, we've officially have added all the content for this course. Let's go ahead and see exactly what we did. To do that, I'm going to go back to our other tab that we opened earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and refresh this website. Now that I've refreshed it, let me click on the content tab and voila, there is our brand new course. There's a thumbnail that we added, Magic Tricks 101. And if we click on start the course, it's going to take us into the course directory or the course listing page. And here is our section that we created. Here's lesson one, lesson two, and lesson three. So that's how easy it is to create a beautiful looking course inside of Value Add-on. Now let's go ahead and let me show you how to create post content because post content is very different looking than this. Let's go back to the other tab. Let's go back to the manage content section. And right here, let's go ahead and click create post content. Now, before you can create post content, you must create a category. This is giving me a warning and it's telling me I need to create a category right away. So category is basically a group of blog posts. So we're going to call this downloads. That's the category name. Now let's go back and let's actually create a post again. So now that we've created that category, we can click on add a post and it will take us to the post editor. So the post editor is very similar to the lesson editor for the courses. Very similar. Pretty much the same options. It's just going to showcase your content a little bit in a different way. So once again, I'm going to run through this very fast. Choose your post type. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and choose text. Then we need to select a category. If you want to add more categories, you can do so here by clicking on this button. What's the post title? So we're going to call this Download Files 101. Give it a post summary. And let's go ahead and write some post content. Okay, to save time, I'm not putting a lot of text in, as you can see, but I'm just kind of running through the options because it's very similar to what we've already done. So I can, once again, I can schedule this to be published at a later date. I can add some tags if I want, and I can upload some content. So let me go ahead and let me upload some more files here. I'm gonna upload a few files at once. I'm gonna let these upload. Once again, these are all stored securely on Amazon S3. They're all being served by us, we pay your bandwidth bill, we pay for your storage, and it makes the process simple of adding content into your site. So now that we have some additional attachments or uploads created, I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish. So now that I've done that, here's the list of all the posts that I've already created. Now let's go ahead and see what we did. Let's go back to our site. Let's go ahead and hit refresh. And I'm going to mouse over the content tab and here's the Magic Tricks 101. That's the course that we created earlier. But now we have a new section showing up called Downloads. That's the name of the category that I created a few seconds ago. Now when I click on that category, it brings me up all of the post content that I have available. We've only created one post, so it's only going to show me one post. And here it is, Download Files 101. So if we click on it, once again, here's the content, here's the title, the description, Here's all those downloads or the additional files that I uploaded earlier, and the user can take notes. So that is how easy it is to upload content. So far, we created a welcome tab. We created a magic tricks course, and then we created some posts down here under the downloads category. So that is how fast it is. That's how easy it is to use the new platform of value add-on where we take out the hard work and make it simple for you to add your content and showcase your content to your users.